What's up guys? This is Mark from the Estrini, aka Mark the Destroyer, who's gonna fuck your dreams up on making any money drop shipping on Shopify. Okay, now nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> One of the guys in um in the honest drop shippers group, link in the description, called me Mark the Destroyer today on Facebook and I told him I was going I was gonna use it on um on the next YouTube video. Anyway, so one of the new members in in um on this job shippers which is a free um group that we have a free mastermind group that we have on facebook link in the description asked me to review his site well i offered he just talked about the fact that he was having problems making money drop shipping on, on um shopify and i told him i would review this site because i did that for someone else before try to go through why he's not making money um and not just focus on why he's not making money, but um, from the try to turn it around and give some suggestions on what he could do to make money. Um, so let's get into it. So what you see on the screen here is his site. Now, when I first saw it, my first reaction was, "Wow, I like the site," but my first thought was it was a clothing, clothing site. That was my first impression. Because of the background image, because of the logo, it's a nice design, but the design in my mind gave me the impression of clothing. So I then, went, I just scrolled around. It's still clean enough. I always say that I don't like the colored backgrounds on the white. But it's not that bad. It looks clean enough. Not the end of the world. So then I clicked. What the fuck did I click? I click. I think I clicked shop. Yeah, because I want to show you exactly what I did. So I clicked shop. And the product page came out. Don't know why the first thing I see is a fucking flashlight. But hey. All right. So. Uh, a mix of products. So I look through. I don't really like this hurry sale thing because you have a brand new site. You don't have a following. So I wouldn't really. That is just annoying to me, to be honest. Right? Um. So let me give you some background. He's been reading and studying about dropshipping for four months. He's ran this. He's opened the, the, the website, this Shopify store. A month and a half ago, spent $180 in marketing for $30 in sales. All right. So my first question, I asked him a number of questions. Where did you, where did you learn to drop ship on? From where did you learn to drop ship? From his response, it was on YouTube, reading a lot of free information. Fine, not gonna hit you on that. Then I asked, what you sell? What do you sell? You, his response was. It's a, I think he sells everything like a variety store, the trendy chess, whatever. Okay, fine. Um, what else did I ask him? What else did I ask him? Anyway, so that's enough background. So my first, when I first, I am very skeptical on variety stores. I personally don't have a variety store. I never had. Um, and I, but I am yet to see a variety store sort of successful because let me explain why. If I want to land somewhere and figure out what the fuck I want to buy, I would go to Amazon, <laughs> right? I'll go to eBay. I'll go to Walmart. If I don't know what I want to buy, I'm not going to, me personally, you could think about, I'm trying to put things in put to, to perspective, right? The average person shopping online in a variety store, trying to figure out what to buy, would buy from one of the big guys because they know they're fast shipping and all this type of stuff. Most of the reasons why we we succeed at drop shipping on Shopify is if it's an authoritative type figure, if there's a focus, if people know that hey, this dude, this store knows what I like, knows the type of things they understand me as a person, and generally speaking, that can't happen with a variety store. Then I asked him where he drove the traffic to. The traffic was driven to, I think he said the product page, or if he's marketing a specific product. Very generic, and I don't think $180 is enough to, 
to test out enough products, right? So off the jump, I would not start with a variety store. I don't know who guided you in that way, okay? Um, some other information that we do have is that the two things he did sell was um, the LED dog collar and some Buddha bracelet, which was free. The Buddha bracelet was free with like ten dollars shipping, and the um, and the LED collar was like ten dollars or fifteen dollars or something. Right, it's fifteen dollars here. The reason why I say that, right? The reason why I brought up what sold is because we know that he spent hundred and eighty dollars marketing. Who the fuck knows? Because I don't know exactly what is marketing. But those two items sold, right? So what I would take away from the little bit loud, this is very basic information. We don't have a lot of data, but you motherfuckers, or a lot of you guys who are drop shipping on Shopify, wants to throw up a website, turn on Facebook ads, and keep, keep flipping coins until someone buys something. That's not really the name of the game. So to change the name of the game a bit, the little that I got from here is that by flipping some fucking coin, you sold some LED door colors. And by flipping another coin, you sold some Buddha bracelet. The, what I will take from that information is maybe to build a store around the LED colors or build a store around dog colors and highlight the dog LED colors and focus in on that. Now, I know you, you have the trendy chest and all that type of stuff. You could even use a name, not for the dog colors, and maybe for the bracelet thing, but hone in on a niche a little tighter. Whether it is clothing, whether it is jewelry, whether it is, if you want to only you, if you don't want to lose all this work. I mean, again, if you look at it as work to test the market to see what happens, you wouldn't get frustrated. But I'm putting my mind in, in, into trying to put myself in your position where you might feel like you did all this work, is a building out the side and that type of stuff, right? If you don't want to waste the site and the domain name and the, the design and stuff, I would turn this, me personally, into more of a fashion brand or even the, the jewelry thing, right? That's just my idea. But you need to hone in on a specific niche that you can get repeated sales. The reason why I say that is I mentioned yesterday, I did a video yesterday, I'll link it in the description, I'll link it above, about using the Facebook group method. So when you're building out a store, try to think about something that you could, all your customers could be in a Facebook group and you could post a new item and people react it and maybe say they'll buy it or not buy it or so on. Like for instance, this clock is pretty fucking cool, right? You could build a niche around that. I'm just saying hone in a lot more. The other thing is, right? Let me get back to this variety store thing. If I have to decide what to buy again, and you have shit that is also on Amazon like this, I just wouldn't buy it from here, right? And I'm not saying that to turn you down, but I'm saying you wanna, when planning your store, you want to, 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 to shut down or, or, or cover a lot of the reasons why you could fail, right? I'm telling you seriously, you, I, Having a variety store, you compete with Amazon, compete with, with Walmart. Unless you are a killer at paid marketing, where there are people out there that could do it, I'm not saying no, then do the variety store thing. When you have time to test and retest and test, how fucking fun. But when you don't, I would stay away from the whole variety store thing in the beginning. I would be skeptical about who took you in this direction. But again, you didn't. You said you didn't you didn't do any paid courses, so you can't even hold anyone accountable. Um, you spend one hundred and eighty dollars. I know a cost is two hundred dollars, but again, I want to test the information first before I promote it. But that money would have been spent better there, getting some valued information. Any sort of paid course on you, Udemy that has high reviews or something, than spending it on Facebook marketing. That's just my opinion. So. On the jump, it's a nice design site. As you mentioned, and I mentioned in the last video, which is interesting that you said that, you should have a phone number that people could call. I don't know if you watched the last video. I'm not big on the variety thing, and I told you why. Um, if you exact, think about it. If you're marketing, let's say the dog colors, right? 
You know exactly where that paid marketing needs to go. You know exactly the type of person you can hone in and sell to that one person. Oh, I think people are misunderstanding how big these markets are. Like, if all I sold, right? Let's say I was, all I was selling was like pink underwear for men, right? Let's just pretend all I was selling was pink underwear for men, nothing else. I didn't have anything else but pink drawers, pink boxers for men. The truth is, if I could get that pink boxer in front of every man in America that would buy it, I would be a millionaire, right? So the trick with Shopify is not about having as many items as possible for all the people to fucking buy, right? The trick with making money with paid marketing, with with Shopify dropshipping, with building out a store, is figuring out what you're gonna sell and who the fuck is gonna buy it, and then getting them together at a cheap enough price that you can still make money, right? So I think the whole perspective of driving random paid ass traffic, and I only say random because you cannot hone in on a specific niche with a fucking variety store. Unless it's a gadget store, and then you have people who are interested in gadgets, and even in a gadget store, I'll break it down into more into like a phone gadget store, and a cooking gadget store, or a computer gadget store, or a tennis gadget store. I don't know, like... So, anyway. Mark the Destroyer is just about done. <laughs> um, I hope my rambling and my information came across to you not purely negative because I want to do two things with these review videos. Fuck your ass up and 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 show you guys shit that you're doing wrong. And after that, turn around and give you a, a, a direction that, would, that you would go in for, that will increase your probability of success, right? Um, thanks, Mario, for putting up with my bullshit, for offering up your site for review. Again, take it with heart. Love of you guys who follow my channel. Comment in the in the comment section. I'll do videos for you guys. Join the Honest Dropshipper um Facebook group. And yeah, have a good one, guys. Peace, love, and be loved. Travel the world and make that money. Later.